Uh, good afternoon, Ahmed. Uh, thank you very much for coming. Um, and congratulations on your reappointment as uh, chairman of Study Group 5. Thank you very much, Toby. Study Group 5 has had a really eventful uh, study period from between 2009 and, and 12. Um, I was wondering if you could highlight some of your green achievements over that, uh, over that period, as well, of course, uh, as in the other areas that Study Group 5 focuses on. Yes, with pleasure, uh, Toby. Uh, maybe uh, I would like just to, to, to remind you that during the last study period, uh, the mandate of uh, AG5 has been expanded, and uh, now AG5, Study Group 5, is a, a lead study group on uh, uh, environment and climate change, and also lead the study group on electromagnetic compatibility and electromagnetic effects. So uh, this is, uh, we have an larger scope of uh, uh, study group five. And uh, uh, we have, of course, during this last study period, uh, achieved a lot of uh, results. And I would like just to highlight some interesting uh, uh, topics and achievement. Uh, the first one, I think I would like to mention that uh, regarding the uh, protection of equipment, telecommunication equipment, we have uh, uh, revised all the recommendations dealing with resistibility. This re resistibility requirement are, I think, set up in order to avoid uh, damage of equipment and malfunction. Uh, I think we have to protect it, equipment against uh, uh, over voltage due, uh, uh, for example, uh, lightning. And this, uh, we have uh, revised this recommendation and we have provided also a guide in order to assist the testing laboratory in order to implement this a uh, test uh, provided in our recommendation. And this guide, I think, will be a uh, good, uh, good uh, tool for this uh, test laboratory. Uh, I would like just to say that uh, Study Group 5 is the most competent and experienced standardization body on this resistibility issue. A uh, second achievement I'd like to highlight is uh, uh, regarding uh, electromagnetic uh, field, uh, human exposure to electromagnetic field. And uh, th on this issue, we have uh, uh, produced a guide, uh, recommendation K91, which give, uh, I think, guidance how to assess uh, and monitoring human exposure to electromagnetic field. And this uh, recommendation is uh, I think a good response to the resolution 72, which has course, been uh, yeah. approved during the last WTSA. Yeah. And last but not least, regarding the climate change issue, we have done a lot of work. And of course, I would like to uh, mention, uh, we, in order to tackle the e-waste, uh, we have uh, produced, uh, as you know, uh, an important recommendation dealing with universal charger for mobile phone, and we have also a recommendation for an universal charger for fixed equipment like set-up box, uh, uh, ADSL box, printer, and so on. And this is also important to reduce the waste, and uh, I think this is uh, the main important uh, achievement. And uh, also, uh, Regarding the assessment of ICT footprint, we have developed, approved a set of recommendations on methodology, how to assess uh, ICT footprint, and this global uh, methodology, I think, it are very, very important reasons. These, these last two recommendations uh, or sets of recommendations certainly uh, managed to garner quite a lot of news coverage, but there's a lot more to uh, Study Group 5's green work. Uh, I, I, I can think, for example, of your guidelines on uh, um, green data centres, but you've also produced a lot of reports, for example, uh, in the last uh, year or so, greening yes. ICT uh, supply chains is one that springs to mind as being something that is quite a hot topic. The, the, the issue of conflict minerals is, is something that everybody is aware of. Yes, this is also, uh, of course, I have not the time to go in detail, but just to, 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 to say that all these achievements, report, recommendation, handbooks, have been done in, in order to respond, in, uh, I think, to the uh, uh, WTC resolution 73 on environment and climate change, and I think all the results we have achieved during this uh, last study period are uh, very are in sync. I think so. Uh, v uh, true response to this resolution 73, and as you know, uh, we 
have also, uh, uh, during this uh, WTS, a, a new resolution uh, which is uh, dealing with e-West, and I think we, uh, this new resolution will instruct also Study Group 5 to, to provide some guidance and best practices in order to tackle the e-West issue. So, so, so moving into the uh, into the future, then you you've got uh, you've got to do a lot to match what you did in the last uh, study period. Is it possible? And and, and what do you think? Oh uh, yes, the challenge. I think the <laughs> I think the biggest challenge regarding the G five mandate is I think the uh, climate change issue. This is a big. I think one of the most important challenges for this century. And uh, of course, uh, we have a lot of work to do. And I would like just maybe to encourage all ITU members to join uh, to, to join a, a study group five because we need some uh, <laughs> some participant more and more. Participant, you know, we have increased yeah. uh, the, uh, our number of participants, but we are still uh, waiting for more participants. And uh, with regard to the challenge we have, uh, I think we will continue to uh, promote. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, environmental sustainability. We uh, try to combat, I think, climate change and also to tackle e-waste. This is, uh, I think, uh, our uh, main goal. But we will also to want to continue to provide the requirement on protection of equipment and also uh, uh, avoid, uh, I think, uh, health risk for uh, people uh, due to the, uh, I think, uh, electromagnetic field. Mm -hmm. And uh, this issue of human exposure, it's an important, and we have always to, uh, to, you know, the resolution 72 has been revised, and we have to respond also to this uh, new uh, revised resolution 72. And last but not least, we have always to, to ensure safety of personnel and user and of uh, yeah. uh, people uh, which are, I think, using telecommunication equipment. Yeah. I think we have a lot of challenges. You, you, you uh, certainly do. <laughs> I, 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 um, I wish you very good luck for the next study period. And again, thank you very much. Thank you. It was a and, pleasure uh, for me. Thank congratulations you. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank very you. Much.